Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome to RETV for our short and sweet tutorial on how to download and install mods for Automobilista. Right, first things first, you need to go to racedepartment.com, which you can see here. Ardy, we've got a Mahusif resource, downloads various different games, of which AMS, or Automobilista, by Riser Studios, is one. So, click on, oh let's start again, click on the Downloads button on the top menu bar there. Then go to Automobilista on the side, and here you have a choice of cars, skins, tracks, and other. For this video, we'll do cars. So you click on that, and this is a list of all the cars that are available, spans over several pages. So we're going to go at random for the Audi R8 LMS GT3, which we've recently done a review video of. So check that out on our YouTube channel uh, if you want to get some idea before downloading of what this car is like. So click on the hyperlink, this will bring the introduction page that the author has created. You can see here there's usually some screenshots, there's usually a little bit of text about what's involved, and then at the bottom, as we scroll and scroll and scroll, there's ratings by individual people that have taken the time out to rate the mod. So we're going to download it first, so we'll scroll all the way back up to the top and there's a red button here that says download now tells you how big it is. Click that button. I like to file save as and save it on my desktop. Usual downloading process here, nothing unusual. It'll tell you how long you've got to go until your download is ready and then that'll appear on your desktop. So I will drop this to the desktop in a moment and we'll open up the raw file in which it is presented and I'll show you where you need to put your files in Automobilista in order to bring the mod into the game. So a few more seconds to go, 92, 94, 96, 98%, 99% and boom! A Audi R8 GT3 AMS.RAW has finished downloading. So navigate to your desktop, there's the mod, and on this particular occasion we've got the folder that's entitled the mod name and then inside there's all sorts of confusing things but what you want is the Automobilista file and it brings two files up here series and game data sometimes there'll not be a series one it'll just go straight to game data but that's the folder structure that you're looking for now in my AMS folder I've got it on my D drive Steam apps Common, Automobilista, and this brings the internal file structure within AMS. Now if we refer back, we'll split the screen here, we refer back to the RAR file, you see game data and series. So you're looking in your AMS install, there's game data, there's series. So we can just literally plonk these two into our save, into our Automobilista structure. It's going to ask me to overwrite because I've already got this mod installed. So yes I want to replace files in this destination. If this is the first time you've downloaded it, it won't ask you to over overwrite more often than not. Let the computer do its magic and there you go, that's now installed. So we'll go into the game and we'll play it, feel how we feel about the mod. Once we've done that, it's very nice if you can then go back and give it a rating. Please only rate it after you've actually tried the car so it can be a fair rating. Now I've driven this already so I'm going to give it a star. I'm giving it five stars because it's excellent. Excellent work. Thank you very much really enjoyed it then press the submit rating button in a few moments time there you go your rating will come up there 
not a particularly helpful one, it's just a feel good thing for Climax F1, the author, because I have no constructive criticism or feedback to give back on this mod, it's a very nice mod indeed. It's great if we can do that for each one, you'll also see on the main, if we go back to AMS cars, we go back to the Audi R8, if the author ever updates it, there's an update tab here where they will say what it is that they've done and how they've done it just to give you an idea of the different bits of work that's been done and the version histories as well and then support if you so require some additional help and support and that is how you download a car mod for Automobilista very quick very easy very simple I'm gonna do another one now and this time I'm gonna do a track same sort of process as the car so Okayama Patrick a very prolific modder basically everything he does is epic so uh, fear not when downloading one of Patrick's mods go away AVG warning and then same thing some text to say what's what people's ratings Patrick's update log all very good stuff so hit the download button same again save as we'll save it on our desktop thank you very much this uh, little bar at the bottom will tell you your progress report and then in a short while the files gonna arrive on our desktop so if I go back to our automobilista game structure so we'll go to the top end if you look in game data you've got vehicles where the cars go and you've got locations where the tracks go there's also talent files and sound files as well which may or may not be included in your car mod so I dare say this one will probably be either the top level locations folder or the actual name of the track itself and again it's very straightforward it's drag and drop into the respective place that it needs to go in so give it a few moments 92% almost there peeps fabulous that one's downloaded so again should be on our desktop Okayama AMS and there you go look Patrick's put it straight in at track name level so we go to game data locations and then we have to be sure of course to drop that not into another folder but drop that into the master locations folder drag and drop with a left mouse click it's processing almost done I've not got Okayama up to this point so that's the first time I've installed it so it's not asked me to overwrite anything and that's it folks simple as that and don't forget to go back I'm not going to rate this because I've not tried it yet but don't forget to go back and give it a rating and there you have it that's how to install mods in Automobilista. I've been Paul, this has been RDTV. Hope you found this useful. Please give us a like, uh, subscribe or a follow on our Twitch and YouTube channels. And also catch us on social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And visit us at racedepartment.com where as well as downloads we also do news. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers for your time. Take care.